Pakistani English, also known as Paklish or Pingalish, is the group of English language varieties spoken and written in Pakistan. It was first so recognized and designated in the 1970s and 1980s. Pakistani English P, similar and related to British English, is slightly different from other dialects of English in respect to vocabulary, syntax, accent, spellings of some words and other features. While English is not a common native language in Pakistan, it is used widely in education, commerce, and the legal and judicial systems. History Although British rule in India lasted for almost 200 years, the areas which lie in what is now Pakistan were amongst the last to be annexed. Sindh in 1842, Punjab, which initially included the northwest frontier province, in 1849, and parts of Baluchistan, including Quetta and the outer regions in 1879, while the rest of the Baluchistan region became a princely state within the British Indian Empire. As a result, British English had less time to become part of local culture though it did become part of elite culture as it was used in elite schools and in higher education, as in the rest of India. The colonial policies which made English a marker of elite status and the language of power, being used in such domains of power as the civil service, the officer corps of the armed forces, the higher judiciary, universities, prestigious newspapers, radio and entertainment was due to British policies and the continuation of these policies by Pakistani governments. The roots of Pingalish in Pakistan can be traced back to the 19th century, when Sir Syed Ahmad Khan encouraged Indian Muslims to learn English and utilize it as a medium of resistance against the British. In 1947 upon Pakistan's establishment, English became the de facto official language, a position which was formalized in the Constitution of Pakistan of 1973. Together with Urdu, the two languages are concurrently the official languages of the country. English language continues as the language of power and is also the language with the maximum cultural capital of any language used in Pakistan. It remains much in demand in higher education in Pakistan. The term Pingalish was first recorded in 1999, being a blend of the words Pakistani and English, with the e changed to i to better represent pronunciation. Another colloquial portmanteau word is Paklish recorded from 1997. Relationship with Indian English Pakistani English P shares many similarities with Indian English, but since the partition of India, there have been some very obvious differences. Rahman argues that P is an interference variety of English created by the use of the features of Urdu, Punjabi, Pashto, Sindhi and other languages spoken in Pakistan. He further divides P into anglicized English, which is very similar to the speech and writing of the speakers of British Standard English BSE. Acrylect P, which is used by Pakistanis educated in English medium schools, mesolectal P, which is used by ordinary, Urdu-educated Pakistanis and Basilek P, which is used by people of little formal education, such as guides and waiters. Words and expressions of P have been noted by a number of scholars, including unique idioms and colloquial expressions as well as accents. 
It has been claimed in the early years of the millennium that foreign companies find accent neutralization easier in Pakistan than in India, however no follow-up studies have been carried out. Also, like Indian English, Pakistani English has preserved many phrases that are now considered antiquated in Britain. Use in Pakistan. Urdu and English are Pakistan's official languages. All government documents, many street signs, many shop signs, business contracts and other activities use English. The language of the courts is also English. English is taught to all school-level Pakistani students, and in many cases the medium of instruction is also in English. Although there are also many schools that teach in the local languages, there is a huge emphasis on English as a second language especially in standardized testing. At college and university level, all instructions are typically in English. Pakistan boasts a large English language press and more recently, media. All of Pakistan's major dailies are published in or have an edition in English. State-run PTV World is a major English language news channel in the country, while previously Dawn News and Tribune 24-7 were other English language news channels with one later switching its language to Urdu and the other was shut down. Indus News is now another major English language news channel in Pakistan. Code switching, the concurrent use of more than one language, or language variety, in conversation is common in Pakistan and almost all conversations in whatever language have a significant English component. The language of pleading in all courts of Pakistan is also English. Grammar. The role of English within the complex multilingual society of Pakistan is far from straightforward. It is used across the country by speakers with various degrees of proficiency. The grammar and phraseology may mimic that of the speaker's first language. While Pakistani speakers of English use idioms peculiar to their homeland, often literal translations of words and phrases from the native languages, this is far less common in proficient speakers, and grammar tends to be quite close to that of standard English but exhibiting some features of American English. Influences Pakistani English is heavily influenced by Pakistan's languages as well as the English of other nations. Many words or terms from Urdu, such as, Kamabund, have entered the global language and are also found in Pakistan. In addition the area which is now Pakistan was home to the largest garrisons of the British Indian Army, such as Rawal Pindi and Peshawar, and this, combined with the post-partition influence of the Pakistan military, has ensured that many military terms have entered the local jargon. The type of English taught, and preferred, is British English. The heavy influence and penetration of American culture through television, films and other media has brought in great influences of American English. 